Okay guys, we're at the uh, Winter Pavilion Hotel, or as it's called on Booking.com, Winter Pavilion. Something tells me that's a typo. Now this is a hotel that has a rather magnificent entrance, and you can really make a grand entrance if you're staying in that part of the hotel. If you're not, you're probably going to deliver it another hundred yards or so down the road, where you'll get these rooms, and the place trades off as being five star. Uh, we'll get onto that in a second, because it pretty much is, um, but maybe not quite. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, plenty of room here, plenty of room. You've got a bed of considerable acreage, it pairs, whatever your measurement is. You've got that many lights and lamps and stuff like that. You've got a truck load of them all over the place. TV is somewhat unusually placed. There's a mini bar in underneath the TV. Uh, it was empty when I got here, so you don't have to go foraging. Um, that is a table of some magnificence. Oh, sure, that's the face of the hotel room. Uh, and you've got basically everything you could possibly want. Very tall ceilings. I didn't bother with the aircon, didn't need it, so I can't comment on that. But yeah, everything's like well appointed. The hotel. Um, colour schemes of carpet and so it's up to your own preference. There is a truckload of space in there as well, you may have noticed. You've got plenty of uh, door space, you've got hanging space. There you go. And basically a heap of this and the other in there. Uh, just got more storage space. Throw a few things down there. Um, that's not exactly interesting anyway. The bathroom, the bathroom have one interesting feature, we'll come to that in a second. But other than that, hopefully there's some water on the ground and stuff that I've had a shower here this morning. Uh, this was interesting, I've never seen, like, curtain material backing onto the actual waterproof shower screen. I don't know whose idea that was, um, okay, uh, okay, um, what is? The water flow wasn't particularly spectacular, but it was at least hot and proper. Um, and then go all over the place like some places. I would not rate this hotel as well as I would rate the um, uh, City Max in the Mass one. That was a lovely little hotel and uh, a bit cheaper and less pretentious. Uh, so, having said that, the staff here are wonderful now. If you're dropped off out the front, they may just tell you to leave your heavy bags, and you may want to consider that because the reception of this hotel is a bit of a distance. And when I say a bit of a distance, that's relative to the hotel, it's not that big a distance. Um, but you may just want to consider, yeah, just leave it in there and the portal will bring it up. Uh, there's a lovely garden out here, and I'll show you that in a second. Well, lots to show you now, I don't know if you can see that too well, but that's a few safety things. The runners are there, but the curtains don't actually join, um, I discovered. You know, I don't do cartwheels or something, or practice, you know dance moves of an evening, but I thought, yeah, I want to make sure I've got privacy in my own hotel room, so I, on my first night in town, I had to walk the mean streets of Luxor, trying to make myself understood in the language I don't speak, trying to find someone who could sell me some safety pins. So look, I'm going to put this thing on, and just sit there with me. Balcony. You can probably see over there there's some pool. Lovely gardens, lovely gardens. I water in the expensive restaurant over there. That's really quite lovely. So you really can sort of settle in here. From morning or afternoon, now over towards here, I don't know whether you'll be able to see my dodgy little coin shoot. But those water glimpses down there are the Nile. Yeah, this is across the road from the Corniche, spectacular location, if nothing else. So, that concludes another spectacular dodgy point and shoot, not stabilised, not planned, not thought out, uh, hotel review.